Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your buddy Rob. How are you? I'm so glad to be here. Of course, uh, today I'm going to show you guys something super cool. Uh, I was definitely amazed. I was definitely shocked uh, when I was able to score something pretty, uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, but let me just kind of fill you in. Um, my wife and I had attended this event, uh, a local arts and crafts festival. I think that went by the name of the Gatsby Day uh, Parade or Gatsby Day uh, event. And, you know, we had driven up to Rhode Island, which is the next state over from us. So I'm from Massachusetts. Uh, so, yeah, like about an hour away. And, um, you know, we just went there with the sort of game plan that, all right, it's a beautiful day. It's the Memorial Day weekend. You know, who knows? Maybe we'll some, stumble upon something pretty cool, uh, pretty unique. Uh, so, yeah, we did. Uh, get to chat with local artisans, local artists, local, uh, you know, talented people, you know, selling wares and goods. Uh, so very cool event. Uh, definitely had a good time uh, with my wife. Um, you know, at one of the booths, I was able to talk uh, to a young lady uh, who's got a Instagram handle uh, by the name of at Tracy Mock. So it's basically comic art, you know, sort of, you know, uh, written backwards. So yeah, at Tracy Mock uh, was the young lady uh, who was basically, you know, you know, just selling all kinds of cool stuff. So most of the stuff at her booth was anime or manga inspired. So uh, she had wallets, uh, she had key rings, she had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, but then something um, that I gravitated to was these lanterns that uh, she made. So she had. Uh, lanterns for every single manga uh, and anime you can think of. Um, of course, I gravitated to uh, the one with, you know, the One Piece crew, the Straw Hat Pirates. Uh, so yeah, very cool, very awesome. Um, you know, I got to talk to, uh, you know, Miss at Tracy Mock. Um, I forget her actual name. Uh, I did introduce myself, but um, yeah, I was definitely uh, happy uh, to have added this to the collection so it'll look great next to all my other one piece stuff so as you guys can see we got nami we got sanji we got luffy we got tony tony and of course uh zoro uh so yeah um i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all lit up uh so let me work my magic and show you guys exactly what it looks like once it's all illuminated so yeah very cool very nice i like it um, yeah, it's gonna look awesome. Uh, but um, let's get down to the you know nitty gritty. Um, so uh, as my wife and I were uh, you know you know browsing and perusing all the cool stuff that these local vendors had, um, we just happened to stumble across a couple of yard sales. So I just said, hey, hey, hun, let's go check and see what they have. You know, um, so went to maybe two or three uh, different uh, yard sales. Uh, they didn't have anything uh, out of the ordinary, just the same old stuff that people sell, uh, you know. Uh, but then I stumbled across a uh, gentleman, uh, maybe just maybe a little bit older than I am. Uh, so maybe in his late 50s, uh, whatever, early 60s. But yeah, he was just kind of saying, hey, you know what, I'm trying to unload some stuff. My wife wants me to get rid of you know, the junk that I've got, you know, accumulating in the house. So I said, oh, okay, bud. I was like, let's see what you got. So I um, happened to notice uh, Funko Pops right away. Uh, so when I saw the Funko Pops, I saw uh, Jimi Hendrix. So he had three uh, Jimi Hendrix Funko Pops, which I thought were, were pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself for not having uh, picked up those uh, Jimi Hendrix Pops. Um, I just, you know, at the moment, I was just kind of like shocked by what I saw next to those Jimi Hendrix pops. So um, as I was looking through his like a little collection, I happened to stumble across two grails. Uh, not just grails, just mega grails. So um, I was shocked. I was definitely, uh, you know, sort of like surprised to have seen these two guys. So as you guys can see, we've got Beavis. We got butthead. Um, so yeah, this takes me way back. Um, I know when this show came out, I mean, it had to be like, what, late 90s? No, not late 90s, I'm sorry, like early 90s. So maybe 92, 93, 94. Uh, so I was definitely still in high school. 
Uh, so I'm definitely aging myself. Uh, so yeah, um, this was definitely like, uh, you know, something that I immediately uh, tuned into when I was a kid. Uh, so yeah, I was maybe a junior in high school or a senior in high school. Uh, so yeah, growing up, uh, these two morons, these two goofballs, you know, definitely made me laugh. Um, of course, um, if you're my age, I'm 46, um, then you know who these guys are. Uh, but yeah, these guys uh, were freaking awesome. I mean, they were two sort of sexist, uh, sort of, sort of too crude, uh, just too, just, you know, they weren't very hospitable. They weren't very nice. Uh, they were just Neanderthals, cavemen, you know, so, uh, definitely not someone you wanted to bring home with the mom. Uh, so yeah, um, the guy ended up selling me these two Funko Pops for 20 bucks. So 10 bucks a piece. Um, the boxes weren't like, uh, I would say like main condition. I would say like maybe a six out of 10 for both boxes. Uh, maybe seven out of 10, maybe, uh, depending on who you ask. Um, but these, uh, pops came out and let's see, 2011. So these pops are 11 years old. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, these are definitely, um, I, I'm still like sort of surprised. I'm still sort of, uh, kind of dumbfounded that I was able to find these. Uh, normally like I don't like gravitate to yard sales. Normally I'm trying to get rid of junk as opposed to acquiring more junk. Uh, but I didn't think I'd find like anything like these two guys. So, um, yeah, Beavis, Butthead. I mean, the show was funny. The show was hysterical. I mean, these guys were just, uh, morons, you know, like through and through, uh, the best part you know, was, you know, they tune into a video on, a, on MTV and they'd critique the shit out of the, the video. They'd, you know, just make these scathing, abrasive remarks. Um, these guys, you know, thought they were womanizers. They thought they maybe had some pull with the ladies, uh, but these guys always seem to, you know, sort of get rejected. Uh, you know, yeah, these guys were just, you know, just idiotic. So um, I guess maybe at that point in my life, maybe I was, I like these guys. Maybe I thought like I was a Mac Daddy when I really wasn't. Uh, maybe I thought I was all that. Maybe I wasn't. Uh, but yeah, no, no, I was nowhere near like these two guys. But um, yeah, I, um, you know, I'm shocked, surprised that I was able to get these for twenty bucks. Uh, so uh, when I did check PPG, um, you know, when I did uh, check Funko, um, the app. Uh, you know, to see how much they were worth. I was, I thought they were like, you know, a reasonable amount of money. I thought they were like maybe 60 bucks a piece, 60 to 70 bucks a piece. Um, but when I saw that, you know, Beavis was around 340, 350. And when I saw that Butthead, it was around 220. Um, you know, I mean, I scored big time, you know? So uh, as of maybe today or as of the other day, between both of these, these were 560 bucks, you know, according to the Funko app and PPG and whatever other, you know, sort of marketplace uh, dictates how much these cost. Uh, but yeah, 20 bucks for two pops that are worth close to 600 bucks. So I don't know, I think I scored, uh, you know, big time with these, but um, yeah, guys, just, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I think I did all right. I think I did okay. Um, now, you know, when it comes to yard sales, I'm definitely gonna continue to see if I can find Funko gold or just collectible gold. Uh, these were, you know, awesome, awesome additions to my collection. And um, yeah, I mean, they're not just grails. These are mega grails. I mean, these things are big time. Uh, so definitely some of the more expensive pops in my collection. Uh, so. Yeah, just uh, guys, just let me know uh, what you thought of this particular video. Um, let me know if you were a young man my age, you know, that watched this series or a young woman that watched this series like in the early 90s. Um, so yeah, this is nostalgic. This is definitely uh, up, right up my alley as far as like third grade humor. That's where I'm at. I'm a dad, so I'm corny as hell. Uh, but yeah, uh, just let me know what you thought. Um, yeah. 
you know, if you like the video, of course, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to have dialogue with me and kind of pick my brain, and, you know, tell me what you thought, then by all means, you know, drop a comment. And uh, yeah, if you feel compelled to, uh, you know, tune in again, uh, then by all means, subscribe. But no pressure, of course. Uh, but with that being said, guys, hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, hopefully you guys score just as well as I do at maybe a local, you know, swap meet or not a swap meet. I'm sorry, a local yard sale. Uh, but with that being said, guys, you take care. Have a good night. I'll see you.